Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and we're gonna take a look at the Titan bin. So for right now, this is where I'm putting all of the cocoons that I find in the, uh, the Titan bin. And then I am putting the little babies, wisps, etc., that I find in there in this bin. That's currently what's going on. Let's uh, take a look and see what we've got this week. The cardboard pieces are definitely helping. It has stayed a lot more moist. Let's see if I find any little ones or any cocoons. Cocoons in there. Wow, lots of cocoons. Just like one right after the other. Let me drag you over here a little bit closer. That's better. European night crawlers. I know that the other ones reproduce faster, but for some reason I am able to find the eggs easier on this one. Nope putting the eggs in a larger container than the wisps because I intend to, to leave them there for a longer period of time. I guess I could accumulate some of the adults so we can see them up close later. Yeah, these guys have demolished all of their food from last week. Wisps over there, cocoons here. All right. Let's see what we can find. That is the good thing about European Nightcrawler eggs. They are very bright and pretty. Another little wisp. Yeah, the idea is that the wisps don't steal the food from the, oops, uh, adults. And they can be all that they can be. Those are some big ones. Well, that one's a big one, that one not so much. Vacation. There's a little, like, yesterday hatched wisp. So that's still doing pretty good for the bat cocoon. That's, that's still pretty good size. Little wisp. fertilizer ball. I mean, for 50 worms in a, in a mortar tray, I honestly didn't really expect the reproduction to be quite this high. I mean, they've got quite a bit of real estate to not accidentally run into each other. I'm surprised that I'm finding all these cocoons, especially ones that are pretty obviously new. Yeah, I'm not, you know, I just can't be 100% confident that the wisps I'm finding in here are European night crawlers, so I'm going to exclude them. And since I found at least one red wiggler, it's possible that it's going to be a bit longer before I find just the European night crawler ones. Okay. It looks like I've got a uh, little wisp here on um, hijacking on the cardboard there. Let's see what else is on there. Ah, uh, there's a good size cocoon. Oh, unplanned uh, mood ruiner here. Good, good job, guys. Carry on. Just in here stealing your children. Never mind me. Yeah, I don't know how long I'm gonna hold out not getting a continuous flow through bag. 
every time I find something that's not where it belongs, I'm like, that would be really useful to just know they're not going to run amok where they're not supposed to be. Pretty mature cocoon. Yeah, sometimes I wish this was interactive so you could be like, oh, you missed one, it's over there. Sometimes I have to just kind of like stop and wait to see if I see something moving. Sometimes they're just so little. You can kind of see the leaves and whatnot that they disturb, but really it's hard to see them all on their own. flattened out here and I'll bring you back when I got the food. Okay, and I'm back. So I uh, I picked out almost 150 cocoons out of there. And um, I don't know if you can see, but they're all pretty similar with the exception of, I don't know if these little darker ones in there are ones that are already empty and they're just shrinking away. But the difference between the little red one and the big round one, you know, we've had this conversation before, but these are for real <laughs> this time. Um, so I don't know if they're a different hybrid or if it's just they're shrinking up because they're empty. I don't know. Um, could go look at some of them a little bit later. But those have all been picked out, probably found 50 or 100 wisps, and now I am going to feed them. So I'm going to take everything off of this side. They had really gone through everything so completely there was no rhyme or reason to where they were. Yet I find another wisp. It's like crazy. And there's another. Jeez. All right. They just are never ending. So I've got my pre-tumbled leaf paper core bedding that I have been doing in the tumbler. And so you can see it's 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 started on its way for composting. It's been in the tumbler. I just keep adding to it. Uh, so it's had uh, been wetted with worm tea and had a little bit of help to keep it rolling with uh, cornmeal and some oatmeal ground up. Um, I did put some sand in there too, um, just because it was unfrozen and I did. So here we go. We've got a 1.5 pound tub of the gruel. And then I'm going to put some more of my bedding on top of there. You can tell there's, there's obviously there's sticks and everything in here. And that is a little bit ripe. That's, geez, bananas, coffee, the usual, you know, bananas, coffee, apples. I don't know, something in there smells. Make sure that's covered up really, really good. Yeah, yuck. Okay, so now I'm going to dump out the big guys. There they are. Okay, so that's cheating. 
I did pick them all out and put them in a tub. But I like seeing them all together. They're so pretty. And Wiggly, look at that. He's wiggling for the camera. What a good one. Good little wormy. All right, well, I will cover them up as well. Another cocoon, jeez. All right, so that's all empty. All of the cocoons, to the best of my ability, are picked out. All the wisps are taken out and the big guys are in there and they've had their feeding. All right, so we're off to a good start. They seem to be happy enough to be reproducing. Super awesome. That's it for the video today. It's just, what is with this? I just, every time I turn around, there's more cocoons. Not complaining, not complaining at all. All right, well, there we have it. That's the end of this video. Um, if you like the video and want to see more of that type of thing, uh, go ahead, give me a muddy thumbs up. And subscribe if you are not already a subscriber so you can keep track of all of this. And I will see you guys later. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. Have a good night.